Howdy folks. We are going to put dual master cylinder power brakes into a 65 Econoline. Econolines are kind of tricky to uh, do any modifications on the brakes. See the master cylinder here and the brake pedal are all one piece. So what I ended up doing was drilling out the back of the master cylinder and I took a half inch rod and ran it from here all the way to just behind the driver's seat um, and I mounted the master cylinder on the frame there. Then I turned down the ends of the, the uh, rod to make it 3 eighths to thread it for the heim joint. Also, I put an electric switch for the, uh, for the uh, tail lights right here. It runs off the rod on the other side and the original one would have had a pressure switch which are known to fail all the time. And then all the brake lines originally met at the master cylinder and just ended up running the, uh, removing all those lines and running one line back to where the master cylinder is. To help with deflection, I added an extra bearing plate off the engine mount. I use heavy wall tubing. It's actually old uh, 390 Ford uh, rocker tubes that the rocker arms would be on. And that's what I end up using for uh, my bearing plates. And then the master cylinder is a Chevy drum to drum master cylinder. The top of the lid, we drilled holes, put tubing in there, um, steel tubing, and then soldered it in place for the remote fill. The two lines you see going off here are lines that go into the toolbox, which not all kind of lines have, but you can mount it on the frame or someplace else, to a uh, valve from Wildwood to allow you to regulate the pressure going to the back wheel so that you can adjust it so your back tires don't pass you. Use three steel nut zerks into the frame for the side of the mount, then two bolts holding it in place on the other side. A junction of front lines right next to the uh, left front wheel. And then it's kind of primitive, but a couple hose clamps on the rod and a piece of angle works like a really good thing to uh, um, activate the switch for the lights. The whole system works really well. And um, we did some, some uh, panic stops with it, with my buddy up top, just to see if there was any deflection in the rod and there was none. And I told him, try to break it. And he pounded on it pretty hard, stood on it and it held up. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, good luck with your project. Next week's project is we're gonna put electric power steering in this. We're gonna mount it right underneath the steering column. And then hopefully next week I'll have electric power steering in this. So we'll have power brakes, dual mesh cylinder, and power steering.